My luxury collection is slightly out of control, so I am going to be cutting it down in this video today, hopefully with your help. There are actually quite a few downsides to having too many luxury items, but deciding what to get rid of is never easy, so I am going to need your help. For this video, I am going to be getting out my entire designer bag collection, as well as a few other luxury items that I have. I'm then going to be going through them one by one and going through whether or not I actually use the piece, um, whether it is similar to something else and maybe I need to sell it. Out of these items that I say that I am going to sell, if you would like to purchase them, I'm mostly going to be selling to UK buyers just because it's easier with like duties and taxes. Um, but feel free to send me a message on Instagram. My handle is at handbag underscore holic. So a little bit of an introduction. I have been collecting designer bags for over 10 years now. I have purchased and sold quite a lot throughout the years um, but at this moment in time I especially after the pandemic I have been purchasing a lot um, not been going out as much so not been spending as much money there and instead have spent it on bags but I'm starting to see that there are quite a few downsides to having too many luxury items too many designer bags I never thought I would say that so what are the issues that I've actually found with having too many bags um, I've made some notes here because there are quite a few of them actually the first one um, is one of my biggest problems right now it is storing and displaying them and at the moment it is just out of control I have a table with like a box underneath of it I have my shelves here with my bags on I've also got in my office some shelves uh, with bags on again um, I've also got a corner in my office which just has like bags on the floor and I do need to look at a more forever storage place for my designer bags. That is something that I'm going to be looking at very, very soon. But I figured I would rather do this process now um, so that it's ready so that I can see what kind of units I'm going to need, uh, how much space I'm going to need. Um, so yeah, I thought I would cut my collection down before I do that. Number two is caring for the bags. Um, I've got a lot of leather bags and you aren't meant to leave your leather bags in the dust bag and then the box because the leather can't breathe. You need to get the bag out, you know, use it, condition it, cleanse the leather. And I find keeping up with that process can be very hard having so many bags. And of course, there are a lot of these bags that have been huge investments for me financially, and I want to take the best care of them. Number three is just simply not using the bags enough. Um, when it comes to a collection of this size, even if I rotated my bags every week, I wouldn't be able to use every single one of them for two weeks because I have that many um, and it just means that there are bags that I love that I just never end up using because I gravitate to the ones that I do use and I think by having a smaller collection I am then going to be able to use the bags uh, even more the ones that are still in my collection. Issue number four is having so much money tied up in these luxury pieces. Now I choose to invest in these luxury pieces, I save very hard for them, I sacrifice in other areas to be able to afford them but um, as we are looking like we might be able to start traveling a little bit more soon and experiencing life I want to put more money into experiences holidays and um, travel as opposed to having such a huge collection of luxury so it would make sense along with all the other points that I've made that I sell some of this stuff so that I am able to then put it into life experiences and issue number five is one that I hate to admit I really hate to admit this, but the risk, the risk of having so many high priced items um, in my house. Um, sometimes I don't keep them all at this one location, um, but it is very much a risk, even though I do everything within my power to make sure they are away uh, in locked rooms, the house is very heavily alarmed. It's still a risk and every time I go out, I am always anxious to think, oh my gosh, what if something happens? Now, the way that I'm going to do this is basically, I'm going to try and remove emotion from this because I love every bag that I've got, of course, otherwise I wouldn't have made that purchase in the first place. I'm just gonna go with cold, hard maths. I am going to put 10 bags on this side. I'm gonna take all these bags off. 10 bags on this side that I want to keep, um, that I know I'm never gonna get rid of. 10 over here that I am going to sell. 10 luxury items that I'm going to sell. Everything in the middle, I will maybe see that if I can put it onto this side or this side, see if I can try and get everything, either a keep or a sell. Um, but I do know there are prob probably going to be a few pieces that I'm just unsure of right now. And I don't like to make 
rash decisions. I do think selling 10 pieces off is already quite a lot. So I'm comfortable with, if I can get to 10 pieces that I want to sell by the end of this video, I'm going to be happy. I can imagine there are going to be some people screaming along to this video like, oh my God, why are you selling that? Or why are you keeping that one? Comment below, please do get involved. I am creating this video purely to get your guys input before I do make any like final decisions. And like I said, if you do want to purchase anything, because I know that's what I'm going to get quite a lot of, please message me over on Instagram. Okay, all of my bags are now out on display. I've never actually got them all out like this. They are taking up a lot of space right now, but I actually really like the fact you can kind of compare them all next to each other a lot more clearly. Um, so over here, I have my Givenchy, uh, some Chloe bags, a few Prada, uh, Mulberry there. Uh, then I have uh, my YSL collection, Louis Vuitton, quite a lot of Louis Vuitton going on here, my two new Capucine bag. And then my Chanel bags here, one, two, three, four, five, six. I've got seven Chanel bags at this moment in time. So over here, I'm gonna put my keepers keep and over here on the left hand side I'm going to put my cells so the first thing that I'm going to do is pick out the ones that I 100% I'm going to keep so for my most favorite bag it is my pearl chanel boy bag this is my like go-to bag for an evening um, this is definitely a keeper so that is my first bag that I am definitely keeping the next one I know is definitely my um chanel fur boy bag i also love this one and i just know that i never want to sell this okay so that is two keepers my next keeper is definitely going to be my black chanel business affinity i love this bag i wear it all the time and because it doesn't stand up i have a little stand here to put it on how cute is that my first three bags my next definite keeper is my actual everyday bag this is the Odeon PM uh, it actually has my stuff in right now the next bag is one of my most recent additions this is the Capucines mini bag with the python handle I love this this when I bought it it was quite the investment it's definitely a forever piece oh wow it is so hard to pick um, my on the go here we go my on the go is one that I also know I'm never going to sell so let me just put this one on here, the on the go is now there. And another one that I know I won't sell is my giant uh, speedy bag, speedy 30. And that one is on there now too. We are seven bags strong here. The next one might be a surprise to people, I'm not sure. But it's actually like looking at them all is my YSL uh, Lulu bag in the cinnamon suede. I love this one. And the next one will be my YSL sunset bag in the medium size. I do use this quite a lot, so I definitely don't want to get rid of this one. Okay, so we have nine keepers here. I can't pick the last one. Um, I'm thinking actually, and this was one that I've been thinking about returning, um, is the Capucines Mini in the red. This is actually standing out to me um, amongst all the other bags, believe this or not, the red Capucine. So I'm gonna come back to this one. I'm now going to start putting on here the ones that I don't mind or I'm thinking of selling. The first one is my Keepall 45 with the black leather. I've used this about three times. Um, and personally, I just prefer like a wheel case. So this one is definitely going. The next one to definitely go will be my Chloe wicker bag. I do really like this, but you can't adjust the strap. So looking at these, um, my recent addition was the watercolor speedy, but I thought this actually was a 30, not a 35, and it's a 35. So it's actually quite big. Um, and as much as I like the print and could get the leather changed on this one, I'm just not so in love with it. I prefer my giant on the go. So to be honest, I'm happy to put this on this shelf as well. The next bag has got to be my Capucines BB bag. I did say that if I was to keep the mini, which I love more, I would sell this one. So as much as I do actually like the BB bag, uh, that one is going to have to go. My next one hmm, might have to be my Mulberry. I love this. This is the new Alexa. As you can see, I haven't used it, um, but I've just purchased this pink business affinity from Chanel. Uh, what does everyone think out of these two? I actually prefer the color of this one. Um, this one is quite a bit lighter, 
but I just love the BA bag so much that this could go towards funding that one. So I might have to put this one over here too, as much as I think it's really beautiful. Okay, so picking the last few to sell is so hard. I've got one, two, three, four, five. I need to find five more items to sell because we are doing this by the number. The first item uh, actually is going to be, out of these five, uh, my Capucines purse. I think this is the most beautiful purse, but it's full size and I actually never use it because it doesn't fit in like most of my bags and I like to actually use a small one. So I will sell that one to fund a smaller one. The next bag actually might have to be my Givenchy Infinity Bucket Bag. I love this bag, it's so edgy with the like chain down the side. Like I really don't want to sell this one, but I have like never used it. Um, and you can't cross body it, you can only shoulder the bag. So that one there might have to go. Another one heading over to this side of the room. Oh, I hate this. Would actually be my gray boy bag. I do love it. I mean, it's really, really beautiful, but I prefer a dark gray. And I already have two boy bags. So I feel like maybe a different Chanel bag in a darker gray would be good. Um, and to let that one go, even though Oh, look how beautiful it is. This process was never going to be easy, right? The next bag, looking at them all like next to one another, um, I actually would prefer the smaller size Chloe Woody tote bag as opposed to this medium size, but I do think it's really pretty. Um, but maybe that is one to go because I already have my on the go there um, in terms of a tote bag. So I'll probably use that more than this one. Okay, so now to pick the last item here. Uh, this is um, this is quite hard. So um, I've always wanted the Kahia bag in all black, but I've only managed to get this red and gold one. So I'm not sure what to do. This was like one of my first ever designer bags. And I have like my Chanel boy bags now and my YSL sunset. So I probably will never use this. So this, this could be a contender. I quite like the Prada double bag. The YSL tote there is quite rare. Um, my Givenchy Antigona, I sold that and then purchased it again. So maybe that's a sign I need to keep it. My Pochette Matisse, I never use. I don't think I've ever really used this. Maybe taken it out like once, but it is really beautiful. My bum bag, I'm hoping to use this more as we go traveling. My Neo Noé, I love this one. Actually, um, oh, I can't decide. What do you think, the Neo or the Capucine? as the final bag to like definitely keep. I'm not sure. Then we have my 19 bags. This, like the caramel I like and my BA in pink, again, I like. I don't love as much as these ones, but this could be a contender to go. Um, it is so beautiful though. So I'm not sure if I'm ready to sell this yet, but it, I just find it like such a heavy bag to carry around. Maybe that is just a keep for now and maybe get rid of in the future. This is so hard. I'm literally not sure which bag. Either the Heavy 19, um, the YSL that I never use, the Dentel as well, the Speedy Dentel. I'm not, I do like that, but again, I like my Giant on the go more. So do I just, do I get rid of that one because I never use it? Okay, I've decided. Look at this red. Oh, I think, I think I love it. So I think that's going to have to go as my final bag that I am like 100% keeping. So pretty, what beautiful, beautiful collection of bags. I'm loving that. I feel very sorry about my gray boy, but it's got to happen, hasn't it? No, I know a lot of you will probably kill me for this because a lot of people don't like the Kahia. Um, and will probably like like this YSL so much more. And I do really, I do really love this bag. It's got some sentimental value to this bag. However, like I said, I just use my Sunset or I just use my Chanel boy bags as opposed, and it's quite similar kind of to um, my boy bag with fur. So I think this might be the last bag there that is going to be sold. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, YSL, 10, Chloe at the front. 
And then we've got 10, my business affinity, Odeon, two Chanel boys, giant monogram speedy, Capucine, on the go, YSL, Capucine, YSL sunset. The bags that I have not put in a category, my Givenchy Antigona in the medium size. Do you know what? I could actually get that in a small now that I can't carry my laptop in it. Okay, we're gonna change. I'm gonna take this back. <laughs> I'm gonna take this one back and I'm going to sell the large Givenchy Antigona and I'm going to get a small size rather than this huge medium size because um, I have a 16 inch laptop now that will not fit inside of that bag. Okay, yep, yeah, I'm happy with that. So the ones that I haven't, this YSL tote bag, Prada Double, Cahia, YSL, Pochette Matisse, Neo Noe bucket bag, bum bag, Dentel, Neverfull, Lock Me uh, backpack, my new BA in the pink. I'm still not sure about this colour though. Um, I don't know if it's too like, light. Uh, my Chanel 19 in caramel and the large 19. The large 19 will probably go at some point, but it is quite heavy, but I, I still really like the look of it. I have actually just found as well this um, Louis Vuitton shawl, which I never really wear. This is in the grige colour. I think I just prefer like a plain black one. I do like the grey, but again, I struggle with grey and styling it. So I'm going to let that go. So this is my 11th luxury item that is being added to the pile to go. And also uh, these Christian Louboutin shoes. I love these, but I know that I will never ever wear them. These beautiful, um, beautiful, beautiful glitter. I think this is called dragonfly uh shoes here yep i've never worn them look and i've had these for like quite a long time now so maybe i've got two other pairs of louboutins um i think it might be time to let these sparkly ones go so i'm gonna add them i'm gonna be good i'm going to add them to the pile as well so i've now got this is what is going my shawl the shoes chloe woody tote in the uh, medium size because I'm going to get the mini hopefully the Givenchy Antigona in medium because I don't need a medium anymore my Givenchy bucket bag watercolour speedy my Capucine's purse uh, keep all 45 Capucine bag Chloe wicker bag uh, Chanel boy bag in grey and the uh, Mulberry Alexa this is my selection to definitely keep the Chanel BA Louis Vuitton Odeon bag, my two beautiful Chanel boy bags, Capucine on the go, tote bag YSL, Speedy Giant Monogram, Capucine and YSL Sunset bags. Um, these are the ones that I love and use the most. So what does everyone think to my keep and my sell side? I'm quite happy with that. Obviously I would be sad to see some bags go. Um, but obviously selling makes room for uh, nicer ones that you like even more. So this is a nice process. I have enjoyed going through it. Okay guys, that was one epic video of decluttering. Um, I feel cleansed. However, um, I now feel like I've got a lot to do. I've got quite a lot to uh, photograph and sell off. And now I have a few, like the pieces that I am keeping, how do I display them? Um, I'm going to be looking at some display units soon, which I will document in a video so we can all go shopping together. Let me know what you think to my choices, like I said, in the comments down below. Um, and I advise anyone else that's maybe feeling like you get to the point where you obviously love all your luxury designer pieces, uh, whether that's bags, shoes, whatever that is. Um, but they starting to feel a bit more like clutter as opposed to things to enjoy. And they're starting to take up space and just, you know, it just feels a bit too much sometimes. Um, I think having less but better is definitely the way to go. And feel free to steal my trick of setting yourself a number as opposed to anything else because a number is cold, hard, it's just a number. This is how many pieces I want to sell as opposed to anything else like setting a number of how much money you want to raise. I think number of items is the easier way to do it. Make sure you don't go anywhere because coming up next, I will link my latest video release here for you. And over here, my 11 most expensive purchases. Do I now regret any of them? <laughs> 